Hello, mashed potatoes, and welcome to Just Add Water Wednesday, where today we are taking a break from rice and noodles to go with another starchy, fun substance. Now, I, I, I love mashed potatoes, always have since I was a kid. They mean something. They're important. And even, you know, whether it's, it's those instant things from, from KFC or proper things made with real potato and cream and butter, I'm there. I'm there for mashed potatoes. But it's a thing that I don't have very often, because frankly, making real mashed potatoes is kind of a pain in the butt. Buying those like pre-made ones like Sam's Club, you have, to, you have a ton of it, you have to get through, and if you heat them on the, on the stove top, they get very, very gloopy. You have to add like a ton of milk to, to make them less gluey. And then there's, you know, the instant stuff, but that comes with, you know, a packet where you make kind of a lot of it, like two or three servings, and the stuff doesn't keep well having to reheat. But what I didn't realize until very, very recently is that much like cup noodles, you can get cup potatoes. So I got a couple different ones to try here. We have from Idahoan, four cheese mashed potatoes and roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Now, I didn't know. I, I somehow never seen, I guess I don't spend enough time in the instant potato section of my local markets. I didn't know you could buy just like cups of it that you could take with you. Cause I mean, this could be like a lunchtime game changer if these are any good. You know, you bring your, your leftover chicken strips or whatever to lunch with you. You can have yourself some fresh mashed potatoes to go with it. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Now, also one thing I realized as I was setting up to do this, I don't think this was meant to be sold as an individual item. They had a display on the shelf of these as individual items, but this one does not have a barcode. It does not have a nutrition label. So I'm thinking maybe somebody had opened up a multi-pack and mixed some of the contents of that in with the uh, single serves. But I mean, they are functionally otherwise the same. We have a nutrition label on this one, so we can go off of that. Uh, I'm going to assume it's going to be about the same, maybe a little bit worse because it's cheese and this one's garlic. But this is 160 calories for the cup. It is 39% of your daily sodium with 890 milligrams. So, I mean, not as bad as cup ramen generally. Any protein in here? Four grams of protein. We got Idaho, registered trademark, just like in that ice cream last week. Potatoes, vegetable oil. Lots of kind of oils there. We got salt, maltodextrin. Well, that's why there's so much sodium. Salt's like the third ingredient. Maltodextrin whey, sugar, buttermilk powder, non-flat dry milk. Yeah, nothing terribly surprising there. And then, you know, a bunch of chemicals. Look at some parsley in there and dried garlic. What's in our four cheese? Four cheese does not have ingredients because... Because, yeah, same reason doesn't have... So, yeah, that must have come out of a multi-pack. So, that is... I'm guessing very similar, but minus the garlic plus four types of cheese. But we'll never know which ones they are. Wait, will we? Will we? Made 100% real potato, or sorry, Idaho registered trademark potato, perfectly blended with cheddar, blue, Romano, and Parmesan. Not a big fan of blue, but I think in a blend it'll be fine. Now you can make these two different ways. You can either put them in the microwave or you can just add water. And you know what? It's just add water Wednesday, and I'm gonna take advantage of the ability to just add water. So all you do is take off the lid, add the water, stir thoroughly, let stand for a minute, Stir again, and it's potato time. All right, what do we have in these? Come a nice little plastic cup with a clearly marked fill line. Always nice to see. There's our potato powder. I'm guessing this is probably very similar to what was in the Van Leeuwen ice cream. Just had it been, they'd clumped it together to kind of give like a fry texture. Mm, it smells very garlicky and creamy. That smells really good. I think I'm going to like that. Check out our cheesy one. Cheese looks, uh, well, similar, but orangey. Uh, presumably from all the cheeses. It sounds different too, it sounds, it sounds rougher. This seems like, can you hear that? I don't know if you can, here's the mash of the garlic. And here is the cheese. It's like this bigger chunks of, I'm guessing, cheese in here that make it seem loud. It's a little bit like of a rougher grind. Let's just try a little bit of, uh, just on the finger. Mm, quite, quite good. Got a decent, like, kind of, kind of like a, 
a little garlic, but also a little like cream cheese and chive kind of a flavor going on there. It's not bad. Let's try our four cheese one. It's definitely rougher. It's got more almost of a crumb consistency. It's definitely a more subtle flavor, although I mean, it could just be the cheese doesn't stick to the fingers well. I get cheesy, but yes, it's not, not as strongly flavored as that, at least in powdered form. But we need boiling water. Where do we get boiling water? Well, it's not boiling anymore, but I do happen to have the kettle right here. So let's give them a fill to the fill line. And cheesy. Now I'm kind of expecting this to be like that instant snow stuff. You put it in there and it like poofs up. It doesn't look like that's actually happening though. Let's, let's give it a stir. And it does, does kind of sludge up quite nicely when you stir it. I guess I want to make sure we don't have any like dry spots in there. All right, I think, I think that's all the powder worked in. Let's do our cheese ones. I guess I'm using different, ow, that's hot. I just splashed hot starchy water all over my hand and some on the table. But that's why you keep kitchen roll around, right? Yep, I can hear the powder in the bottom there I'm stirring into. And hopefully I didn't let it sit too long while I was doing our garlic. All right, I think, I think it's all mixed in now. You can see some like little chunks of, I guess, cheese in there. All right, so I guess uh, let's give it a minute and then we'll give it a try. We'll stir it again, then we'll give it a try. So see you in a minute. Okay, a minute is up. Let's try our potatoes. They definitely, oh, wow, they have firmed up a lot. They, they really sucked up that moisture. I wonder how much of my spilling the water out of the other one is going to affect that. This has gone really, really firm. Uh, honestly, it could be maybe a little, a little dark. I guess, I guess that's what gravy's for though, right? All right, let's give a try of our garlic mashed potatoes. They don't smell as strongly of the garlic as they did when they were dry. Something about the heat and the water has really kind of muted the scent. They, they smell much more potato, or maybe just the, the adding of the water to the, the starch of the potato has made, because it smells much more of potato now and much less of the, the garlic. But let's give it a try. I mean, you, you can't see that. I have the spoon in front of my mouth as I'm sniffing it. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's probably somewhere near like KFC level, because I'm sure that's, you know, what they use too is just powdered potatoes. But it's, it's for, for instance, something I made in a cup in a minute. It's pretty good. It's got... It doesn't feel especially creamy, but it has a little bit of almost like a a cream. It could just be the garlic and stuff that I'm, I'm associating with like sour cream and chives or something. But it has almost kind of a creamy taste, but it's got a really nice, strong garlic flavor to it. I really do quite like that. I mean, obviously garlic as a lunch item at work is maybe sometimes objectionable, but it's pretty good. I, I would I would get that again, just if I wanted to like have some just potatoes without having to do like literally any prep work for it. Let's try our four cheese. We gotta stir it up again. It did say to stir after giving it its minute. It's definitely had its minute now as I played around with that. Yeah, the color, you can see the color is quite different. It's much more orangey from the cheese, presumably. Let's give it a sniff and a try. I'm not really getting much of the cheese scent now at all. I'm, I'm just kind of just getting potato scent. But I think, again, I think something about adding the hot water to the potato powder really, really brings out the scent of the potato itself. Because it smells like, it actually smells quite like a baked potato. It's, uh, for being something that came from powder, it does smell the part. But how does it taste? It's very smooth and creamy. Definitely a more subtle flavor than the garlic. I don't think I like it as much. I, I like it, but I don't like it as much. I like, I mean, I like garlic. 
So, I mean, that's, it, it was all, it always had, uh, was always on the back leg compared to garlic just before we even put, you know, water in it, but. I mean, not bad, a good texture. Kind of a, kind of a muted flavor though. I'm not, I, I'm not getting, like if you just put this on my plate and I didn't, you know, I didn't see the cup it came out of, or I'm assuming they must make bigger packages of it. I don't know that I know it's meant to be cheesy. I think I would just think you just gave me kind of plain mashed potatoes. I mean, there's a little something there, but I don't know if I can identify it as, as cheese at all, never mind any of the four cheeses listed. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm getting some of the cheese, but I, I also feel like that's a lot of that is suggestion for me looking at the package. And that again, if I didn't know it was supposed to be cheesy, I wouldn't necessarily get cheese out of it. But it is good. I mean, if, if I had this, if I had some like leftover chicken or something for lunch and I had this on the side, or I could make my own like little KFC sadness bowl with it, I, uh, I think that's a perfectly viable option. I think, uh, I mean, not necessarily as good as homemade, but my gosh, so much faster than making it yourself. And that has to count for something. Well, we're gonna go finish our potatoes. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna eat both of these myself. That would be like 80% of my daily salt, which actually admittedly would be like eating a, a standard packet ramen. But nope, I'm gonna go go share these. And uh, yeah, they're not, not a bad little side for a lunch to just make in seconds. But I do definitely like the roasted garlic better than the four cheese. Neither one is bad, but I, I'm just a garlic person when it comes down to it. So I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.